Fire and Julio Valdez in a very important battle. Let's pick up the fourth and final round. This is round four. Fryer coming in. And in round two, Valdez came right at Fryer and won that round convincingly. Both swinging wildly at this point. Right. Pryor, for the first time, started to go with a jab, which he must do, because he's got to get him on, back him up with a jab, and then let his shots go. Then he'll be able to nail the oblique. But just running in with the hooks in the right hand, uh, that, that don't mean nothing. Well, he made more of a plan now, and you can see he's, he's definitely leading with that jab to try to set up his other punches. I feel sorry for the Ablito. Every time he makes a move, his, his shoulder hits the ropes because it's a very small ring. There's no place to hide here. Because Valdez is tied up prior as much as he could. He'd like to have about a 29-foot ring. Prior on the right, undefeated. Valdez in the darker trunks. That wrestling in the good right. By that wrestling in the clinches is really taking its toll on Valdez because Pryor's the much stronger fighter. Pryor scored with the right, comes back with the left, and now goes to the body. And Valdez once more trying to tie him up. Good combination by Aaron Pryor and a strong left hand, right hand. The right hand countered by left by Diablito was great. Diablito comes right back. That's his game. He's got a counter, Pryor. That's what he's got to do. Fourth See, round, scheduled for 10, Angelo. Dick, when guys are coming in like that and they get nailed with a punch, the guy doesn't have to be a to hurt him. Good right. Snap Valdez's head back. And now he's going after him as Pryor. Valdez against the rope, and he is hit solidly again. Standing eight count by referee Bill Connors. There is no standing, there is no eight, standing count eight count here. In Miami, but no. in this fight there is, we understand. Is that correct? There is a standing eight here. And down is Valdez. Pryor. So it was a fourth round TKO and highly regarded lightweight Aaron Pryor. Now 22 and 0 with 19 knockouts. We'll be seeing a lot more of him. So today on the CBS Sports Spectacular, we saw the master, Wilfred Benitez, and we didn't know what kind of a motivation he had coming into this fight. Was he looking ahead to another fight with Sugar Ray Leonard? The answer is yes, but he wasn't looking past Irish Johnny Turner, who had the chance of a lifetime slip by him this afternoon. And Benitez now very much alive, 40 fights still, only one defeat. We'll be at Muhammad Ali's training camp in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania next week for the CBS Sports Spectacular. Till then, for Angelo Dundee, this is Dick Stockton.